As a digital manager, the Adobe Bridge is great for keeping track of your assets, and you can organize your data in several different ways. First of all, the easiest thing you can do is literally click and drag to rearrange the order of your images inside of the bridge itself. So in our content window, I can manually put things where I want them to go. What I can also do in the bridge is I can set ratings for my images so that I can use the filter panel, which is very, very important, so I can find exactly what I'm looking for, as you see here. So currently, you don't see the word anywhere that says ratings because it knows that nothing here has been rated. So I'm going to just move this panel over just a little bit, and I'm going to zoom in on one of my images, actually a few of them, and I'm going to give them a rating. So I'm going to click on this guy here, we're at Washington Trip, and I'm going to move my mouse, and I give it five stars. All of a sudden, some stars appear here and it knows that I put five stars. Likewise, I can click on this image and give this one two stars. And let me just zoom out just a little bit. I can give this one here after I rotate it. I can give this one two stars and I'll give this one up here four stars. Now look what happens. Dynamically updated is our filter menu. So what I can do is click on two stars and I see the ones that have two stars. Cool. Now I go ahead and click on the four stars and I'll turn off the two stars and all I'm doing is clicking on the stars to turn them off and on. How awesome is that? It's a great way to uh, find which images you really want to work with and you can find them very very easily by simply selecting them. Now let's go ahead and talk about keywords. Another way to find images that you want to work with. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and just pull our filter all the way up. We can focus on this because this is really important. And me personally, I have to be organized. I just have to be organized or I go completely insane. And as my wife says, I'm already insane. So thank you. Now, keywords. I'm going to move this up as well. Keywords give you another way to organize your images. For example, well, these images are from a Washington trip. So how cool would it be to search for Washington? As you see here, I have place twirl down under the keywords panel, and I can add my own keyword because none of these are from New York, Paris, San Francisco, or Tokyo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, and I'm going to choose new keyword. And you see I clicked on any of these areas here. So new keyword, and I'll type Washington. I hit enter or return and now Washington is now a part of my category. So I can click on this image here, I'll hold down shift, and I'll just do a couple of them. So I'll grab these four. I'll select Washington by putting a check in the check mark here. And look at this, the uh, filter has shifted down to show me there's something new in here. So we have to find it and here it is, no keywords and Washington. So it knows which images have the Washington associated with it and it shows me the number and I have four in my content pane. How awesome is that? We can also create stacks in our images for organizational purposes. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to once again slide that all the way over. I could double click on it of course to close it, but I like to slide it over. So let me just go ahead and slide that over. I can select a couple of images. I'll go ahead and once again shift, click, and I can go to the stacks menu and choose group as stack so that I can, let me double click and open this guy up. I'm opening and closing these things all day long. I'll move this down. And I can see in my preview panel the four images that are in this stack. I also know there are four images because I have a big number four slapping me in my face. Four. So I can click on this to open up that stack, click on the four again to close that stack. It's a great way to save not only space in your bridge, but also to organize things so that you can have all the photos that are related to one another in one handy location. For example, let's say you design toys. So you have a stack of aliens toys, you have a stack of plush, you have a stack of the trains and that kind of thing. And you can always click on the stack to see what's in there and collapse it. So organization is key in this version of the bridge. And trust me, once you start doing this, it's going to be something you're going to always want to do. Because once you're organized, everything is so much easier to maintain in your life. So once again, you can stack images, you can assign keywords, you can assign ratings, and now let's talk about one more thing, which is a label. So what I can do now is I'll choose this image, and I can go to label, and I can give it a yellow label, for example. And as you see, interactively and dynamically, label appears here, yellow, I can click on it, and everything that's labeled with yellow appears in the bridge. So I highly recommend that you guys give it a shot because it's a great way to organize your assets so that you can quickly and efficiently find them whenever a client needs you to find a stack of images or you just want to find some old mementos from a trip you took with your family easily and quickly in the Adobe Bridge.